hey guys welcome back to drew tutorial and if you're new a special welcome to you and guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to boost your cpu or processor speed in windows 11. now guys the first thing that you want to do is just simply click on the windows icon on your taskbar and type edit power and you should see edit power plan here so you just want to click on that and open it now once this is open you want to go ahead and click change advanced power settings and here you will be able to see two options you will be able to see the balance and high performance power plan and in some cases you will also find the ultimate power plan if you have it if you have the high performance you want to select it if you have the ultimate you can also select that as well now in my case i'm going to simply select the high performance power plan then you simply want to click on processor power management here and here for the minimum state guys you see that i have it as five percent you want to go ahead and change this to zero right and for the maximum processor state you want to go ahead and change that to 100. now you can see that i have mine set to 100 already and that's all that you need to do so once you're finished with that guys just simply go ahead and click apply and simply click ok and boom that's all you have to do guys in order to boost your processor or CPU speed in Windows 11. Now guys, as a bonus tip, I'm gonna show you one more thing. Just simply right click on the Windows icon again on your taskbar and simply go to Task Manager. Once you have Task Manager open on the left hand side, you will find Startup Apps, you wanna click on that. And guys, any third party application that you're not using that you realize that these applications are starting up once your computer turn on, you want to simply right click on them and you want to disable them like for example here i have chrome i would go ahead and disable that you want to go through the list and only third party applications you want to go ahead and disable them so that they're not starting up on your computer that's all you have to do in order to boost your processor or cpu speed in windows 11. no guys i really hope you found some value here within this video and if you do guys do me a favor go ahead and give this video a like and let me know in your comments below go ahead and try this come back let me know in the comments below if this was very helpful to you and if you're seeing the channel for the first time welcome to drew tutorial i'm andrew and go ahead hit the subscribe button to join this community so that you will see much more videos coming out every single week just like this one thank you very much guys and see you next time